Good afternoon and welcome to the Boulevard. Lee, the opposition today already out on the field and we await Hull um, for this uh, league game which would have been particularly important uh, with as a relegation clash. Lee down near the bottom and Hull after this run of defeats getting pretty close to that, uh, that area though in fact they still hold on to 8th place but um, in view of the council's decision this week to scrap the 14 team first division build it up to 16 and that means no relegation from the first division it does rather take the edge off the significance of this game Hull of course will still be looking for a top 8 place and uh, they'll be looking for a much better performance than the, certainly the previous two if they're going to do that. Some really moderate form both at Salford last week and at Halifax the week before. The last home game, of course, was one of the better performances of the season, a very fine victory over St. Helens. Let's have a look at the two sides of the lineup. The whole side first. Richard Gay, back from injury, is at fullback. Paul Eastwood, James Grant, Rob Nolan and Gary Nolan make up the three quarters. Scott Gale and Ivan Henjak. The uh, half Australian halfback combination is restored. Mark Jones, Lee Jackson back in the side after a month, being dropped into the second team. And Ian Marlowe, Steve McNamara, Russ Walker and John Sharp with Chico Jackson and Andy Dannett on the bench. Certainly a pretty strong looking Hull side if they can regain a bit of form this afternoon. The Lee side, David Ruin is at fullback. Simon Booth, Troy Clark, Dean Hanger and Duncan Platt across the three quarters. John Gunning and Jason Donahue, the halfbacks, Lee Hansen, Andy Ruain, Tim Street, Andy Collier, Simon Baldwin and John Pendlebury, with Scott Martin and Paul Rowley, the substitutes. The referee is Mr. Colin Steele from Barrow. And the preliminary is almost away. I think this is uh, certainly the smallest crowd we've seen for a league game here this season. Uh, well under 4,000, I would say the moment and Hull certainly in need of a, a morale boosting victory Brian I think you've been in the dressing room beforehand and the atmosphere now was very tense yeah very very tense a lot of tension really could hear the proverbial pin drop Hull players are under a lot of pressure to perform well a lot of dissatisfaction during the last week from some supporters criticism of the coaching staff and the directors Perhaps some of it unfounded, but obviously people are disappointed because it really did promise to be an excellent season around about Christmas time, and from then, it's deteriorated. Late kick-off. Fairly bad James Grant. Marlow. Charges up. Move that went wrong. Well picked up there by Nolan. Obviously misread the move. Jones. Big run by Mark Jones. Lee Jackson running off. Marlow into the gap. But tapped there by Tim Street and Collier. John Sharp. Oh, inside ball to Jackson. Good play there by Hull, good combination. John Sharp injured, down below us. McNamara, short ball to Gate. Last tackle. Scott Gale, kicks, high kick. It drops in the in goal, so it'll be a tap on the 20 to Lee. John Sharp looks like he's hurt his knee. Very adept at slipping the ball in the tackle. Andy Ruane at Sir Hook, I remember in the last game at the Boulevard. Very impressive. Oh, Hansen gets rid of it out the tackle. To young Simon Baldwin. Donahue. 
Stopped by Marlow and Jones. Uh, at least come up, been in good form recently. Dwayne. Stands up. Richard Gaysbrough. Stopped by Troy Clark, the Aussie centre. Eastwood, trying to straighten up. Matt Jones, Matt Jones. Sand Hill's most penetrative forward last week against Salford, Matt Jones. Matt Namara back from international duty. Walker. Last tackle. Ball to Scott Gale. Bangs it down into this Lee's left hand corner. Bounces Oakley for the full back. David Rowan picks it up. He's knocked down on the 10 metre. Hansen. New Zealand, a strong running player. Sometimes let down by his handling, but very, very strong. There's Baldwin. Tim Streets. John Gunning's kick, I think it'll be too strong. Yeah, it goes over the dead ball line. Fairly inconclusive at the moment, Steve. No real pattern to the play so far. Oh, but Hull made pretty good yards on the, their early sets there. Ian Marlow restarting things, takes the 10 metres. Interesting to see the form of Lee Jackson and his recall to the first team today. Mike Dixon left out, Steve McNamara tackled near halfway, John Sharp sh seems to have shaken off that knee injury. Walker, play inside the Lee half, full content to play amongst the forwards, they made the yards well, bit of uh, feeling between Walker, good ball by Gale, nice tackle on Steve McNamara by Lee Winger Booth, another of the youngsters in the Lee side. Fairly inconclusive kick. Looking for the, put the ball into touch close to the corner, corner flag, but it went touch and goal. Duncan Flatt. Lee sharing the workload, bringing the wingers into the work up the middle. Street makes the break, Tim Street. Gunning overran him, didn't quite see him, and Street loses the ball, so that's a let off. But a sign of Tim Street's danger there. He is uh, certainly a man who needs the two or three man tackle. He's strong, can wrestle out of anything that's uh, not 100% firm, but didn't quite pick up John Gunning, who was supporting him. Gale, run around with Henjack. Eastwood comes on the short pass. Paul Eastwood earned his recall to the first team last week as substitute. Mark Jones. Jackson decides to take the short side option out to Ian Marlow. Nothing else on that short side. The wing Paul Eastwood still in field. Gale, hole set deep. John Sharp. He'll play it about 27 metres away. Russ Walker switches at the ruck. Good break by Russ Walker. Lee Jackson inside him. The first whole try of the afternoon. And well played Russ Walker. Very determined run. And well supported Lee Jackson and the first whole try. And Lee opened up fairly easily, Brian, there. Yeah, they did. That was just a, a st w Russ Walker taking the ball to the left, straightened up, strong enough to break the lead tackle. Found Lee Jackson perfectly 
placed on his inside and Lee Jackson went over under the post. Good start that for Hull. Important morale boosting try. team talking about what went wrong and basically it was just a, a result for strong hard determined running I was thinking the whole pack state today certainly with their considering as well they've got the two subs Andy Dannett and Anthony Jackson on the bench are well outweigh the Lee six please although the front row is quite well built the back three are decidedly lightweight. Paul Eastwood. It's there. So we've been playing about uh, six minutes and the score is hole six, lead nil. Perfect afternoon for rugby league football. Very little wind. Pitch is dried out. Kick to Grant. Stopped by Hooker away. Paul Easter from Acton Halfback. Looking for a gap. Jones. Oh, good run by Mark Jones. Sharp. Short ball. Oh, to Richard Gabriel. It goes down. But nice support play there by Gay. Donahue to feed. Gunning. Anson again. Baldwin. Played for the Great Britain Academy last week against France. Tim Street. Still gets the ball away. Not a good pass this time. And he'll collect it. Thanks to Lee Jackson. Scott Gale. Rob Nolan. Oh, good tackle there by the Lee winger. That's twice he's coming quickly and saved the position. Russ Walker. Oh, get good tackling by Hansen and Baldwin. Knock, knocking Ian Mallow back. Scott Gale. Taking him on. Again, the hooker away and in. Matt Jones. Tackle by Pendlebury and away and again. Last tackle. Scott Gale kicks. Oh, well judged. Taken by Duncan Platt just on his own line. Good kick and chase by Hull. David Rowan, fullback. Hansen. Tim Street. Donahue. Oh, pace some. That's an half back by Donahue, but Lee Jackson goes onto his shirt. Last tackle. Gunning kicks. Should be Richard Gay's ball. Oh, we've got chase by Lee. John Sharp, oh, that was a bad ball there. 
from Paul Eastwood. Oh, put themselves under pressure there, Steve. Yes, certainly. That's given Lee the ideal attacking opportunity. Donahue wins possession. Gunning. Hanger. Slips Richard Gay, but doesn't get round Nolan and Grant. Again, Lee to the short side. Gunning, probing. Ruane comes to acting half-back. Lee within eight metres. Hansen. Strong drive. Donahue first receiver. Pendlebury. To Street. Lets the ball go. Mark, well picked up by Mark Jones. That was good hold defence on that play. Lee moved it rather pedestrianly across the field and well snuffed out the danger and came up with possession. Rob Nolan makes a little break. Almost up to halfway. Gary Nolan and acting half back. But I think Rob Nolan threw an arm. Now the referee consulting with a touch judge. And they're calling the two players involved in that little bit of niggle. Rob Nolan for Hull. Jason Donahue for Lee. Which way is the penalty going to go? Penalty to Hull. Donahue the first offender and Rob Nolan a bit of retaliation. Paul Eastwood to kick the touch. Play will restart. 37 metres from the lead line. Mark Jones. Short side play, Ivan Hanjak. Marlow, within 10 metres. Good methodical approach work by Hull. Hanjak, sharp, drop off to Walker. Two tackles left, I think. Hull stack the right, sharp. Side balls, Richard Gay, a bit of space. Just enough Lee defence back. Hansen takes him, last tackle. So the over the shoulder pass again, that was executed pretty well. Hanjak to kick, through, goes through uh, street over the, into the in goal area and Lee, in fact, make it dead. So that was a good kick to end, a fairly efficient, good set of six, Brian. Yeah, good set of six. Strong play by the forwards there. And some pretty slick handling. John Sharp. Good tackle by John Pendlebury. Still what best one of the best loose forwards of the game, John Pendlebury. Scott Gale. Nolan. Short ball to Richard Gay. James Grant. Scott Room. Scott Gale. Oh, good support there, Bear by Hull. Got to move it right quickly. Oh, Donahue was way offside. End Jack for the gap. Stopped by Baldwin and Pendlebury. Jones will charge for the line. Fights to get there. And does. What a try by Matt Jones. Apparently stops at least four yards short, Steve. And still shrugged three. Tacklers, I think it was uh, 9, 10 and 12 of Lee. Out the way and scored a great try under the post. Well, the try itself uh, showed Mark Jones's determination, a pretty strong, straightforward run. You could say there was a bit of pretty weak tackling on the Lee part under the post, but I think the key to that came from the sustained nature of the pressure because Hull had had a good set of six before and won the ball back by forcing Lee to drop out and then probed at, at the Lee defence again. So this is... Uh, Huller finding it uh, pretty easy to get the momentum going today and uh, the, as a result of that they've got a 10-0 lead which ought to be 12. Paul Eastwood with a very straightforward conversion attempt in front of the post. But I think above all Brian that try a, a result of the concerted pressure. Yeah and good pressure by Hull. Got two lets of six when the mid lead. Make it dead behind their own line. Paul 
Let's do it again. Head kicks it. So we've been playing about a quarter of an hour. Hold 12, Lee, nil. John Sharp having treatment. Looks at a hand injury now. Been in the wars, John. There, John Pendlebury sent a gun in the kicker deeper. And it still kicks it straight to James Grant. Russ Walker. A oh, strong run by Russ. Eastwood running off the match and half back. Straightening. Going. Better play. Sharp. Marlow, Marlow, Jackson, Gale, Rob Nolan, good tackling there badly. Mark Jones again. Last tackle. Hold going right. Lee Jackson will stack this side. Scott Gale, can he get rid of it? He can't. Tackle by Duncan Platt, loses the ball. Flat again, stopped by Lee Jackson. Hansen, good tackle by Russ Walker. Pendlebury, not Pendlebury, Rowan, dummies. Troy Clark, thrown into touch by Eastwood, helped by James Grant. Good strong defence there by Holt. Scott Gill, Gay, Grant, oh well picked up by Gary Nolan, not a good pass, well done Nolan. Penalty to Hull, obviously Donahue holding, da holding Nolan down, not letting him get quick play the ball. I think Police will go for goal here Steve. He isn't, he's going for touch. <coughs> Fans touch. Jones again, runs at Hansen. Hansen pulls the ball out. Silly, silly, Hansen there. I think Eastwood will go for goal this time. This is 20 yards out. About the same distance in from the touch. But at the moment, Steve, full one in control of the game. Yeah, totally. We're seeing all the play in the Lee half. Lee are having, when they've got possession and they're managing to kick out a defence, they're running it back very well. And uh, significantly more variety in the whole play, really, Brian, isn't it? We're, we're not playing up that narrow corridor up the mm. middle. Seen some good short side players, a bit of variety on the sixth tackle that almost got a, almost got the overlap. Uh, and uh, altogether, much more cohesion and variety in the whole attack. And the forwards really working hard. They're making the hard yards well. So Paul Eastwood with his chance to put Hull 14 ahead. Scott Gale is receiving a bit of attention to an ankle, it looks, while this is happening. No problems for Paul Eastwood Hull. 14-0 to the good. 
and uh, only 22 minutes gone so really an excellent start for Hull and uh, if they can sustain this then uh, Hull supporters are going to be in for a, a much needed morale boosting not only victory but a good performance as well so far so good Grant, Lee Jackson, is it away to Rob Nolan, a pass given us forward, which I'm pretty sure it wasn't, but uh, again we saw that, actually saw some of this in the semi-final yesterday, the Leeds witness, the, one of the uh, detrimental effects of the referees going back 10 metres is that those uh, flat passes are harder to judge. Lee in possession, Donahue who's certainly quick out of, out of his... Uh, from a standing start. Hansen driving up close to the rook. Good run by the Kiwi. Lee in their best position of the match here. Street. No, it's Ruane going from acting half back and he's got there. Well, I think Hull held off a minute thinking it was Street's ball and Ruane held it up and wriggled through the markers and just crossed the line, Brian. Yeah, good quick thinking by the Lee hooker said earlier what a good game we had in the uh, was it the Regal Trophy game Steve wasn't it uh, earlier on in the season looked all on the ball was going out for Tim Street for a drive to the post but Rowan held out held so strong kept low and managed to get his arm out over the line so it's put Lee right back in the game from as you say rather controversial decision and of a forward pass Platt trying to add the point, two points. He does. So after 25 minutes play, it's hole 14, Lee 6. All right, that's the first time that Lee have threatened. Eastwood to restart. Across to Donahue. Gives it to Hansen. Good tackle by Lee Jackson. Baldwin. Sorry, Collier loses the ball, he doesn't, it's stolen. Touch just short of the halfway line. Hansen. Oh, good run by Hansen. Baldwin. Collier. Tackle by Walker. Straight. Driving towards McNamara. Who stops him. My help is sharp. Lee going left. Pendlebury. Pendlebury dummies. Tries inside ball. R goes right to Russ Walker. Paul Eastwood to run off. Oh. Stopped by Donahue. Richard Gay. Jones. Jones charges up. Oh, good tackle there by Hansen. Stood his ground with Hansen. McNamara. Good charging run down the left. Last tackle. Penjack. Gale. Gale. Plenty of room in front of him. Grant. K kicks. It's a full back. Should be the full back's ball, it is. But 
but Granton, he's good. Pin him down. A good kick and chase. Platt. Good tackle by John Sharp. Pendlebury. Rowan, I'm acting half back. Street. Oh, good tackle there by Lee Jackson. Back to Gunning. Richard Gay. Trying to get outside, Baldwin. It does to oof, to Gary Nolan. Good tackle there by Hanger. Rob Nolan. Marlow. Goes up the middle. Oh, we're going blind. Sharp to Gay. To Gary Nolan. Better attack. Hull oh, moving across field. Russ Walker. Inside to Rob Nolan. But well read there by Rowan again. Scott Gale kicks. So bad kick from Gale. Ball back on the last tackle. Well, again, it was a purposeful six. Just spoiled by that last kick. Hull certainly varying the angle of their attack today and uh, running the lead defence around a bit more, making them think and providing a, a variety of attacking options, not, not making it easy for the lead defence to spot who's, who's coming through. Street. Well met by three Hull defenders. Ruane. Pendlebury. Good ball from Pendlebury. Suspicion of a forward pass here is Ruwain. Good run by the fullback up to the 20 metre line. Typical bit of John Pendlebury play. Floating close to the rooks, looking to draw men in. Slip out a short pass. Gunning. Street. Baldwin. Good support play by Lee. This is Ruwain. Ball goes loose. Try given. Came off a whole player, I think, referee said. Lee really are back in this game now. Baldwin over for the try. Bit of bad luck on Hull really there, Brian, although you have to say that Lee support play was extremely good. It was the final pass that went astray, but unfortunately came off a Hull man over the line and Simon Baldwin gifted a try. Yeah, it was good support play. I think the ball did it to Hull man as it was passed. You know, the crowd didn't like it. The referee had no doubt on his decision. And Lee right back in this game. But so Hull are warming Andy Dan it up for the last... 10 minutes of the half. But good play by Lee. Playing with, certainly playing with plenty of confidence when they got the ball in their hands. Converts it. Score then is uh, Hull 14, Lee 12. Andy Dunnett's gone back on the bench. Donahue to Hansen. Tackle by Lee Jackson. Collier. Cunning. Uh, Platt. Platt. Good tackle. By Ivan and Jack. Cunning. Short ball to Platt. To Donahue. Rowan. 
for a win. Drops off Hanger. Good tackle there by Russ Walker. Last tackle. Donahue. Kick for the full back. Oh, well picked by, up by Scott Gale. Nicely judged kick there for uh, Platt. Marlow. Already got to get back on top. Because with the ball in the hands, they can certainly score. McNamara. John Sharp. Richard Gay into the gap. Tackle by Collier. Russ Walker up the blind side. Oh, good tackle by John Pendlebury. Scott Gale. Kicks. Down into the corner. Rob Nolan after it. Oh, bounce is badly for the leap. Oh! Holds. Well, forget what. Bounced out of Gary Nolan's hand back into the lead player. Ball's been made dead. Lee fullback got there first. The touch just says. Ian Marlow going off. Andy Dadnett coming on. Tactical substitution, I think. Jack to Richard Gay. Good tackle by Clark. Damn it, straight into the action. Charges down the middle. Sharp to McNamara. Oh, well read by Rowan. Sorry, not quick enough for a real top class, but good. Jones, Jones charges through. Tries to get the ball to Gary Nolan, but it's intercepted by the Lee winger. Pendlebury trying to clear the danger. Good tackling by Hull. Street. Rowan. Oh, drops off Donahue. Oh, Donahue pass. Donahue still going to Booth on the wing. Oh, knocks it on. I've just been commentating to Steve how well Booth's been playing. That's the first mistake he's made, fortunately, for Hull, because there's a clear field in front of him. And good play by Donahue. Showed a bit of pace. He got past an outside Andy Dannett. And a pretty well just pass, really, for the winger. We should have taken it. Enjack. Oh. Gary Nolan. Jackson. To Gay. To Gay. Still going. Gay going. He'll score. He w oh. Hanger just got back to him. Great run. Gale. All the very flat. Rob Nolan. Rob Nolan. Gale, Gale, still going. Well, going blind, McNamara. Oh, tries to slip a ball to Gary Nolan. It was too hard. Goes to touch. Lee's heading ball. Great run there by Richard Gay, Steve. It was. It, it looked as if it got away, but uh, great covering back by Dean Hanger, the... Australian that Lee have signed recently on the advice of John Mooney. Lee win on tidy possession from the scrum. Winger Booth has to come in to clean up a loose ball. John Gunning. Oh, drifting his way well. Some rather feeble hull defence. Gunning making an easy 20 metres. Booth off the wing. Pendlebury cuts out Baldwin. Baldwin gets a lovely ball away. Here goes Hanger, chased by James Grant. Grant's ankle taps him, finished off by Richard Gay, but Lee again making good yards down this side. 
Pendlebury first receiver, Ruane. Brother David Gunning. All stretched again. Last tackle against Lee. Ruane goes for the chip over the top. Pretty good kick. It's going to be a try, is it? No. Tackled short. Well, looks all on a score. In fact, great work by Richard Gay to stop him. Nice chip over the top. Regathered. Well, that's that's chance chance at both ends, Brian gone. Yeah, that was certainly uh, all on the lead fullback was going to score. Matt Jones. Valuable five yards for Hull. Showed a bit of pace to the Aussie centre hanger. Just previously we've seen his tackling qualities. Lee Jackson. McNamara, Sharp, Henjack, Lee in quickly, smother Henjack. Damn it. To Jackson. We have to go, Lee Jackson, he does go. Oh, good run by Lee Jackson, he's got Scott Gale inside. Oh, kicks, couldn't take the pass, Scott Gale. There's a try for the asking there if Gale could collect the ball. Great run by Lee Jackson. Street gets rid of the ball. Not a good pass picked up by Donahue. Donahue, Pendlebury, Baldwin. Nice tackle there by James Grant. Pendlebury. Gunning, Street. Oh, nobody on the streets outside there. Ruane, oh Ruane, Bull in off the wing, Bull still going, Bull still going, came in at an angle, kicked a good ball up from Ruane and holds defence at six and sevens, Donahue, chips, picked up by Eastwood, Donahue appealed for a penalty but it wasn't really on there, Walker, very dangerous side though Lee Steve in these breakaways, Bit of pace there, and uh, that man Jason Donahue getting more into the game. He really is a quality player. I've been quite impressed with the distribution of gunning as well. It draws a man and puts the pass out into the gap nicely. Hull return possession. The ball bobbles around a bit. Half time. Well, after a 14 0 lead after 20 minutes, it's 14 12. And uh, Lee have been very close to getting over again. Hull also have had their chances. Uh, it's been <laughs> certainly a game in which the attacks have been on top, Brian, rather than defences. Both sides certainly and clearly capable of breaching the defence of the other fairly regularly. Yeah, that's, I'd say we've got a few points to come in this game, Steve. Some good attractive football by both sides. And really, it's a pity we've got such a sparse uh, crowd for such good entertainment. Anyway, look forward to the next 40 minutes. Walker leads Hull out for the second half um, and after a first half which has been very entertaining Hull with a narrow lead of 14 to 12 I think we're going to see quite a lot more points in the second half and Hull certainly seemed to have the game by the scruff of the neck after 20 minutes leading 14 nil but Lee are really made of a uh, bit character these, this, these days the Australian coach Steve Sims who's joined them in October when they were looked uh, dead and buried in the first division race uh, don't think they'd won a single game at that point in the league and since then they've uh, they've certainly turned in some good performances and picked up two or three important victories two very good away performances uh, winning at Wakefield when they scored 40 points Brian and then at so uh, then at um, uh, at Sheffield on a Friday night game very impressive performances. So Steve Sims doing a great job at Hilton Park. 
with no money to work with. Now let that ball go out. Yes, it has. Tim Street unable to keep it in the field of play. Touch judge on this side waving his flag. So Lee will, that's a good start for Hull for the second half. Lee will have to drop out from their own goal line. Conditions, as Brian Holwell said earlier, absolutely perfect this afternoon. Of course, the great debate at the moment about the viability of summer rugby. But uh, certainly, summer rugby meant conditions like this, then be in favour of it. Ian Marlowe tackled 30 metres away. Lee Jackson is away from acting half back. Almost slips the tackle of Rowane. Gets to the 20 metre line. Marlowe is acting half back. Hen Jack to Sharp. Done it. It's about running. Looks for support. Nobody with him. Gale kicks through Scott Gale. Lee, watch that go down. Andy Dunn not very happy with that. I think he'd called a play, and uh, maybe Ivan Hanjak hadn't come. A breakdown of communication there. made a substitution. Scott Martin has come onto the field. We haven't yet worked out who's gone off. Winger on the, the booth on this side, the winger. Pendlebury taken by Russ Walker. Donahue from acting halfback. Almost gets away. He's a dangerous runner from there. Good on his feet. Very quick. Ruane kicks through. Comfortably, Richards gaze ball. Tackled by Troy Clark. Eastwood from acting half back. Cross field, straightens up, makes a few yards. Lee Jackson to Hanjack. To Done it. Over halfway. Good run by Andy Dunnett. Gay. No support. Gale kicks to the corner. Kicks onto Platt's wing. And he's taken by James Grant. Collier. Donahue to Hansen. Releases the ball, taken by Donahue again, but doesn't get away from the tackles. Street. And he done it again in the tackle. Gets the ball away to Gunning, taken by Russ Walker. Ruane to kick. Take oh, Richard Gay knocks on. Probing kick by Ruane. Would have uh, bounced in the field of play. Richard Gay had to take it. He got himself in a good position and then lost it. So that gives Lee the initiative here. Both sides have been probing for an opening. This perhaps uh, first real chance of the second half. Lee to feed the scrum 30 metres from the whole line. Gunning, Clark, taken down by Gale, Pendlebury, Hansen loses it, Lee Jackson has it, Rob Nolan to Gary Nolan, comes back inside Gary Nolan, approaching the halfway line. McNamara the decoy and Marlowe runs it up. Oh, 
Sharp. Nobody with him. We'll move it wide. McNamara. Back to Gale. Hanjak. Richard Gay. Again to Gale. To not really moving the lead. He fans around. Hull a bit flat. Sharp. To McNamara. And he's taken by Hanger. Last tackle against Hull. Gale. Goes to the air. It's a pretty good bomb. Taken well by David Ruain. Flat. Clark. Australian who's played most of the season for Carlisle and was brought down to Lee to fill in for Scott Mann when he returned to Parramatta. Collier, last tackle against Lee. They haven't made too many yards here, only 20 metres made. Gunning kicks to Richard Gay again, takes it well this time, same position. And John Fandlebury making the chase, and O'Brien's commenting off microphone. Really excellent chasing and tackling by John Fandlebury throughout this game. Sharp. Jack. It's that deep hole. Gale inside to Walker. Richard Gay kicks over the top. Richard Gay. James Grant in pursuit. The ball goes loose. Richard Gay has it and scores. And Lee unable to clear the danger. That was a good kick through by Richard Gay. It looked first of all as if uh, James Grant was going to be the man to pick it up. But the ball went loose. The lead defender unable to clear it. And Richard Gay following, it, following up his own kick dive over to score. And that's uh, Given all the breathing space, Brian. Yeah, it's as, same as the turn of first half, just after six six minutes play. Well judged kick by Richard Gate. Put into the gap by uh, Scott Gale. Little inside uh, to Walker, then inside another inside ball to Richard Gay. He was had a pretty good game for running from the back. So Hull was six points in front. But certainly, I think a long way to go in this game, Steve, because. Lee have, are playing with plenty of confidence and I like the way the, the close support play down the middle is excellent. And they certainly won't give this game away. See, Lee are going to make a substitution. Look, so Hansen, Hansen's coming off and Rowley who's another of the Lee youngsters is going on but it's Paul Eastwood it looks a good one it is so it stretches Hull's lead to 8 points Lee make the substitution will certainly give a very lightweight look to the lead pack, Steve. Because this, this really, I've never seen him be play. Looks like he's a bit like a half back, not a forward. Gunning kicks off to Grant to Sharp. Really straight in the action with a good tackle. To Steve McNamara. Pushes off Rowley. Stop by Gunning. Mallow. Good purposeful play by Hull. Should be Dannett's ball, it is. Charging run by Andy Dannett. What's needed? Quick play of the ball. Penalty to Hull for interference at the play of the ball. Paul Eastwood looking at the goalposts.
So I think he's going to go for touch. I'm a little bit surprised about twice he's had, I would have said, kickable chances for goal. Steve, one in the first half, one this. I know it's 40 metres out, but it was pretty straight, and normally police would try those. Walker. Good tackle by Rowan. Damn it, damn it. Oh, loses the ball. Rowan moves it out to Baldwin. Again to Donahue, straightens and goes. There's a gap. Hanger. Good tackle by James Grant. Collier. Gunning. Straight, no, it's a straight, misses out straight. Baldwin. Eastwood. Oh, Platt. Platt. Oh, what a good tackle by Enjack. Baldwin. Donahue. Straight. That's four tackles gone. Lee going bland. Rowan. It's a new man, Rowley. He'll score. He'll score. Whoa. What a simple try. Just a simple inside ball by Hooker away. And a great gap there for Rowley to go through, Steve. Well, certainly looked to be one or two hold the defenders asleep there. Enormous gap opened up very simply. Well, as you said, Brian, a few moments ago, Lee won't give the game away. And back they come again. Not being ahead in this game, but... Uh, Whenever Hull strike further ahead, Lee come right back. 20 points to 16. And a dream start for substitute Paul Rowley. Duncan Platt with the chance to bring Lee back within two points again. His kick 10 metres in from touch. kicks it 20 points to 18 and uh, this game really still very much wide open Eastwood's kick is deep. It's taken by Rowan. It's taken by Ian Marlow. Collier. Rowley runs off from acting halfback. Taken by Steve McNamara. Donahue, Street. Donahue looking to get away from acting halfback, gets the ball away to Hanger. Gunning to kick. Hanger is down injured for Lee. Richard Gay, taken by that man Pendlebury again, chasing the kick very well. So Richard Gay to play the ball. 10 metres from his line. Gary Nolan makes a few more yards. Ian Marlowe. Sharp. Short pass to McNamara. Good run by Steve McNamara. Makes a good 15 metres. Done it. Almost up to halfway. Gale kicks deep, turns away, but it's going to go dead. Just too strong. Well, 
Well, the game's wide open, Brian, isn't it, really, at the moment? Hull uh, established that advantage, an eight-point lead, back now to two, and uh, certainly don't look like dominating the game at the moment. No, they don't. Hull are bringing on Chico Jackson for Russ Walker. Russ Walker's had an excellent game, but I think they're looking for a bit of pen more penetration from the forwards. And it looks as though Hanger's coming off and Bulls coming back on for Lee. Pendlebury. Collier. Chico Jackson straight in the action. Drops off straight. Oh, straight. Buster tackling. James Grant gets back to him. Donahue. Got in. Oh. Baldwin, good tackle. Steve McNamara, uh, John Sharp, sorry. Pendlebury. Tackle by Dannett. Last tackle. Ball back to Gunning again. Should be Richard Gay's ball. Bounces up well for him. Gay runs. Right into two lead tacklers. Eastwood. John Sharp. Good determined run by Sharp. Good 10 metres. Lee Jackson. McNamara. That's better running by the whole forwards. Damn it. Flat ball. Ball back to Gale. Kicks. Out to Platt on his wing. James Grant. Penalised for being offside. Pretty marginal decision, I think, that, Steve. All forwards are having no problems, really, in clearing their own half. That's not a problem really that's not been a problem all season it's really been finishing off approach work so Leah back in possession Donna you to Rowan Pendlebury Tim Street back to Donna you switch play oh oh Pretty lucky there, but nonetheless, that was gunning. Tackled eventually. Rowan, a little inside ball to gunning. A little ball to Rowley. Good play, this Barley. Bold the winger back here. Scott Gale takes him. A real simple, good rugby league team. Just straightening the line and putting the ball into the gap for the next man. Oh, big gap, straight. Pendlebury. Oh, it must be easy, easy try. Easy, easy try there. I thought Hull thought Lee were going to take the ball wide and they didn't, they brought it back into the middle. And the fullback, Rowan, easily scored under the post. Really, Hull's defence was pretty awful then. Well, they've been stretched on this side of the field and they were stretched on the other. And... Uh the gap appeared inside. Well, some of the whole supporters are giving their team some stick, but I take nothing away from Lee. That was a well-created try. And they hit the lead for the first time. Duncan Platt with a conversion, Lee lead by four, 24 points to 20. A test of Hull's character again here.
And the long kick taken by Ruane. It's going to take a bit of winning now, Brian. Lee are very confident. And uh, Hull are really going to have to step it up. Yeah, they really are. Particularly on defence, straight. And of course, Lee are going to run that bit, bit harder. First three tackles will put in being pretty good. Here comes Pendlebury. Stopped by McNamara. Donahue. Last tackle. Back to Gunning again. Kicks. Should be right to Richard Gay. Tackled by Troy Clark and Collier. Gary Nolan. Lee Jackson running off. Must be a knock on. Must play the first knock on. It should be Hull's head and ball. Sharp Henjack. Chico Jackson. First time he's had a run. Good run by Jackson. Gets it out to Marlow, but there's nobody with Marlow. All he can do is. Oh, Lee Jackson arrives. That was better play by Hull. But really, Marlow had nobody on his outside there, Steve. Ball out to Scott Gale. Out to Grant. Hull blind, Chico Jackson again. Kicks, I think it'd be too hard. It is. So. Tap by Lee on the 20. Rowley. Little 17 year old Rowley. Bags very lively, gunning, taking them on. Standoff. Tackle by Danit. Pendlebury's got straight outside him, he goes himself. Straight. Stopped by McNamara and done it. Four tackles gone. Baldwin. Ball to Gunning again. Kicks. Ball lead chases up the ball, will probably go dead. It doesn't, unfortunately for Hull. Richard Gay has to field it as well. Ooh, I thought he was going to pass then. Paul Eastwood. Oh, p passes to Gary Nolan. Nolan straightens up. Nolan's still going, nobody with him. Well, I think Gary Nolan could have been entitled to some support then. John Sharp. Oh, penalty to Hull for Rowley pulling the ball. Not Rowley, it was Martin pulling the ball. Complains about the decision. What changed the referee's man? So it's Hull's tap right on the halfway. For Chico Jackson. Taking it up. Chico Jackson. No. Dan it coming this way. Hull going blind. Sharp. Jackson. Richard Gay. Gary Nolan. Gary Nolan. Gary Nolan. Oh, what a. Held up over the line. Referee says. Important tackle there by Baldwin. Got underneath him. But a good attack there by Hull State. A nice constructive bit of work on the short side. Lee player is flat out. But really, that's uh, Gary Nolan turned over as he reached the line. It's uh, I think David Ruane who's injured.
He's up on his feet now and looks okay. For the scrum to go down. Blood bin, I think, actually for Andy Ruane, the referee holding up the cross, and back comes uh, Hanger, Dean Hanger. So, full feed at the scrum. Hendrak, Gale, cross field, ball to Grant who was running back towards the ball, back towards play. Can Hull continue the attack now? John Sharp. Lee tackling enthusiastically. Marlowe driving in. And Hull have worked the position to go both ways here. Hendrak. McNamara. Within five metres. Rob Nolan. On the line, but uh, the last tackle, Hendrak, Gale, Gale kicks through and chases. It's going to happen to it, it's kicked dead, so Hull will, should get the ball back. So Lee to drop out. Chico Jackson certainly added a bit of injection of pace into the whole attack since coming on. The whole forward attack. Good run again, but no support. Good run by Chico Jackson. Again, the ball was available to slip it to a man. He's right. Lee Jackson goes through, kicks through. That may be the wrong option. Hull have it again. Chico Jackson. Six more, 10 metres from the Lee line. Sharp. Now just four metres away. Hendrak to Gale. Gale rather half-heartedly taking the lead defence on. He stopped ten metres away. Short side, Rob Nolan. Within two metres. Hendrak, Marlowe. Last tackle again. Lee defending extremely well. Jackson. Sharp, Gale, and he's tackled. And uh, Lee really tackling heroically there. I think Hull now have had 18 tackles inside the Lee 20 metre line, and uh, they got close to the line a couple of times, but certainly not over it. This is Platt. About 11 minutes to go. Still plenty of time for Hull, but uh, Lee have this four-point lead. Street. Baldwin. Just for a short pass. Doesn't get it. Henjak has a bit of space. Takes them on, Ivan Henjak. Good run. Lee Jackson to Sharp. Back to Lee Jackson. Inside the Lee 20 meter line. Dannett. Big run by Andy Dannett. Again, the approach worked. No problem with Hull making the yards, but it's that finish that we're looking for. Hendrak. Chico Jackson. To Gay. The ball goes loose. Lee have it. Picked up by Donahue. Troy Clark. Hanger goes from acting half back. Now Platt. Gets the ball away. This is Rowley. Up the middle looking for support. He lacks it. Now it goes past Richard Gay. Back to Gunning. Gunning will look for the pass. There should be a late try. Here goes 14 Martin. But a great tackle by Scott Gale. Saved the day. Assisted by Gary Nolan. But Lee still with a chance. The winger stumbled when really he looked to be a scorer. Last tackle against Lee. They're about a metre short. 
Donahue, Pendlebury brings it back to the ruck. Looks like an overlap here. Try. It's a try for substitute Scott Martin and Lee. That may be the game for them. Well, they've weathered the storm because they've certainly had a lot of hull pressure to put up with the last 10 minutes for the first visit into the hull half for some time and they come up with a try, Brian. Yeah, and a well-deserved try. Great break by Rowley, the 17-year-old substitute. Showed tremendous pace down the middle and then his, his fellow substitute, Martin, who uh, scored three tries for the academy in France last weekend. Was able to sidestep Gary Nolan and score. And as you say, Steve, got an important try. Puts Lee six points in front with a not too difficult conversion attempt to follow from Platt. But Lee have been much more successful than all, Steve, in keeping the ball alive and in support play. And he kicks it, so that's eight points in front. Hull bringing off Marlow and bringing back Russ Walker. I'm surprised they haven't brought Jones back, Steve, really. They well, looked very good in the first half. Maybe he's got an injury, Mark Jones. But really, that's not where the problem is in the forwards, is it? The forwards have made the yards, it's that uh, they haven't finished off the opportunity is created. Eastwood kicks. Goes to both. Doesn't go to both. Goes to Martin. Oh, I think knocks it on. He does. Scores a the try, then knocks on. Gail. Nolan. Gail. Straightens up and goes, tackled by Gunning. John Sharp. Inside to Grant. Oh, Rob Nolan, knock on. All desperate now. I'll make it about seven minutes to go. Donahue, Donahue beats John Sharp. Donahue still going. Oh, it's good job he didn't see Gunning a little bit earlier. Street. Oh, great gap to run at Street. Hands off. Another hand off. Fortunately, Rob Nolan gets to him. There's Rowley acting half back. To Gunning. Dummies. Still going. Baldwin. Baldwin. He'll score. Oh. Just well, I think that certainly is the end for Hull, Steve. Easy yards for Lee up the middle there. So it's Platt trying to add another two points. Very, Steve, very say what a sparse crowd there is today, and quite a lot of them are leaving with five minutes to go. Platt hits the post so it leaves a score at Lee 34 Hull 20 and I'll make it just five minutes left maybe a little bit of injury time Tim Street coming off after absolutely yeoman service 
I say Hansen's still on the bench, so Lear playing without the props for his last five minutes. They obviously think they can hold the hull out. Donahue, who I've been impressed with. Both. Collier. Pendlebury. We've had a blinding game. Pendlebury, lay captain, led by example. Rowan. Four tackles gone. Collier again. Oh, ducks under McNamara's tackle. Gets through the ball. Baldwin. Baldwin. Oh, inside ball to Donahue. Straight out to Booth on this wing. Checking him on. Kicks ahead. It'll go in straight into the straight into touch. Referee said it. Oh, I thought it was a ball back referee. Uh, touch judge. It was ball back. But another high speed lead attack out of nothing, Steve. Hulls man of the match, Russ Walker. Richard Gay. Probably been better off passing first time then. Can it? Runs straight at Rowan, who puts him down. Enjack. Gale. Nolan. But the ball's knocked down. Be knock on. Richard Gay going for the gap. Chico Jackson. Gets rid to Lee Jackson. To Henjack. Down it. Henjack again. Scott Gale. Enjack, Grant, Gale, Richard Gay, better passing there by Holt, McNamara, nice ball into the gap for Russ Walker, goes forward pass, ball finally ends up with Paul Eastwood. Really nothing going right for Hull in these last few minutes. It's an amazing transformation this game. After 20 minutes with Hull leading 14-0, it looked they were in complete control at those. Lee came back very well in that first half, back to 14-12, and then their um, exchange of tries in the early part of the half, they've completely dominated the latter stages. Looking dangerous again, playing with a lot of confidence now, stretching the Hull defence, finding the holes, Ruane, that looked forward. Hanger gets away. It's got support inside. Still going, Hanger. Still going. Clear run for the line. He's got Eastwood with him. He's come back inside. Gets it away to Gunning. The ball floated out. It's taken by Platt on the wing. Now Ruane, Lee keeping it going. Ruane, Hooker, Ruane. Ball goes loose. Knocked on by Gary Nolan, saves the try. In fact, a penalty given to Lee for a bit of obstruction. And Lee have the penalty in front of the post. So I should think they'll go for goal now. Right on time, I make it. And you've got to say, Brian, it's been a, turned out a, another very disappointing display by Hull. A good 20 minutes to start with, and suddenly it all went wrong. 
And they still have their chances at the start of the second half, going eight points ahead again, but Lee came back, and, and since Lee went ahead, there's, there's really only been one team in it. Yeah, we've been seen incapable of coping with these high-speed lead atta atta attacks, Steve. But a good support player, I and mean, they looked to try all on there. And we gave a penalty away to stop it. When I look down on the two sides, well, they're stones heavier, aren't they, Steve and Lee? Lee, a lot of young lads, very slight. But they're making the ball do the work and they're supporting one another and playing with lots of confidence. Into injury time. There is the Hota, final score there is Hull 20, Lee 36. And certainly the whole team getting a bit of a, a mixed reception from the crowd. One home match to go against Hull KR. Let's hope we can get it together for that one, Steve. Yes, the uh, really... Uh a game which was there for the winning Hull completely dominant after 20 minutes but uh, it's been a tale of disaster in the second half here I don't think we should under underestimate Lee they may be near the bottom of the table but Steve Sims has turned them into a pretty decent side and they play with a lot of enthusiasm and the youngsters in the team that he's brought in have played with a lot of uh, a lot of skill and a lot of heart and they play well as a team and certainly show the character to come back from 14-0 behind to, to emerge winners by 36 to 20 is great testimony to the team spirit at Hilton Park so another disappointment I'm afraid for Hull supporters Lee winning this game 36 points to 20 and uh, question of what uh, Hull can do between now and the game at Leeds in a fortnight's time which is their next encounter only three matches left now in the league away at Leeds away at Sheffield and then a home match with Hull Kingston Rovers and certainly the whole coaching staff will be looking for a much better performance in those three remaining games